help. Yeah. It's, it should be your piece, you know? He's probably using Pamela, but <laughs> still not a woman. Okay, these, these questions are a little bit, uh, they're a little bit straightforward, I guess you would say. What uh, body count makes a woman that's 26 a hoe? Or is there a number that makes a woman I would like, say no, because you? technically, from a, from a like physician standpoint, a woman could f could fuck like however many people she wants, and then go right back and fuck some more people. Like, so I mean, it's not really about the body count. Some it's the personality. It's the personality of how she carries those bodies. A man that, will. A man. I mean, will if she's tore, woman, tore up, you know. Right, like, right. But a man will call a woman a hoe based off of her actions and how she carries herself. He doesn't even know what her body count is. It's the way she carries herself. So it has yeah. nothing to do with how many people she's how the fucked. Fuck it's would how he she's know? portraying herself How would he know? I could I could fuck. lie to you yeah, and tell like, you I I've never like, had sex with yeah. anybody. But I could literally have sex with a hundred men. But you would never know. But it's the way I carry myself. There's right. a lot of rich women and a lot of powerful women in these positions today. Because they didn't tell them in their body count. Because why? It doesn't fucking matter. You doesn't, yeah. If you don't it know. It has no validity to it, the Exactly, it doesn't. When 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 men ask that question, that's like never really you should never answer them because it's not their because business. it's none of their business. They would never fucking know anyway. As long as it doesn't smell well, bad and it's like truth, great. Man. No, but you should always tell the truth. But I mean, it shouldn't be a question up for discussion. It's not up for discussion because the pussy's good. Like it's good. <laughs> okay. Like it's good. And so, I've never believed a man who said they that's could they know. Say, but oh, a no, man, it's but good. but but you but listen, a man doesn't know. Uh, they seen, don't know. I've known they have men no idea. that mess with. You would never know. Straight up street. I could go. I could know. fucking go fuck somebody and then leave their house and then go to somebody else's house and fuck them, and they would never know. They would never know. I took a shower. Like everything's fine. It matters though if I feel like if they find out later somehow like yeah, but they would else. never find so out. So what is your opinion about men doing it? Um, see, I, I feel like a man can sleep with fifty to hundred women, and his value really doesn't necessarily go down. But that we didn't but, we didn't ask like, about value. Like, like we asked if they were a hoe because of their body count. Oh, is no, a man no, no. a hoe because of his no, body count? No, a man can. I think it's different. I think it really is different. I do. I think. Um, it is. Yeah, fit, uh, a dude that does fifty or hundred women is not so bad at to it. If a woman the same age has been fifty to hundred hundred men. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's different. Okay, then I would say uh, that's your opinion. I would, I would say. I would say that is your opinion, but that is based off of a lot of biasness and not truthfulness. Yeah, because you would because never you know. could never tell me you that you've been tell. with 50 women and I don't think you a hoe. Yeah, but women, we don't care about that because we understand yeah. that you're a person and you right. have to feelings and you have needs. I'm not going to be like I don't want him because he a hoe. No, I wanted you for different attributes. I wanted you because you were nice. I wanted you because you opened up the can of fucking well, no, pickles. Well, no woman wants a guy that other women don't want either though that's so. true you can be you can be you can be irresistible that's true, you can never... be irresistible without being a hoe yeah you can yeah. definitely be irresistible without racking up numbers and, and it's a it, this is becomes a privacy issue this becomes an issue of like keeping your business intact because if you really are a hoe you don't want anyone to know hell no you don't Right? You shouldn't. And if you got so, your shit together and you really are a hoe, but I think it's like, that I think it's that mentality that Scott S T D rates like super high because yeah. men feel like they could go out and rack it up and it's gonna give them a notch in their belt when really men are the biggest pastors of STDs, but that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, for sure. What's, I'm not what a doctor. Are you ladies personal uh hoe dars are one to ten. Oh, I know a hoe a faux show when I see one. When no, I see one. No, Honestly, when see I put the O in ho for real. Okay. I'm a real hoe. I never get cold or nothing. Like, <laughs> I'm a real hoe. So, how my would you ladies, would you ladies rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? One to ten. I'm definitely. For how many people you've met? No, no, no. What you are on a scale of one to ten? Um, Your wholeness? Looks wise, attractive wise. Oh, attractive. Oh, ten. ten. I think. Oh, both definitely. Ten, ten, ten. A fucking ten. Okay. No, we're so bad. So, ten means you have no room for improvement whatsoever. Well. Um, we're always constantly looking for yeah, because I could crew. definitely learn to cook better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. So, <laughs> definitely learn, learn to cook, cook better. better. So and I don't know anything about sports better. And like, yeah, I don't know anything active. about sports, so I know that takes some points off. Yeah, like I don't I know. know what is the curve. What is the curve? What's the curve? Yeah, I have to mean? know what the curve. Like no room for improvement. So like, when you, you say room for improvement, what are we getting graded on? 
So like we don't know anything about sports. Does that take points off? No, that doesn't. Take is this like a credit well, score or something? No, no, I don't know anything about sports. Seven fifty. So, Seven fifty. Except <laughs> like I mean I follow UFC fighting and stuff, but like football and stuff like that. How old are you? If you don't mind us asking. Thirty two. You yeah. look super young. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, like like you're like our age. How old are you? Yeah, I just did too. So really? yeah. It kind of preserves you a little bit. It sure say. does. Because you sleep a lot. Um, yeah. Have you always done like blogging? No, this is like my second time ever doing this street questions thing. Like this. We're your second. We're your second people. Yeah. This is fun. Oh, this is fun. I like this it. is great. Have you guys ever heard the term dignitized? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I felt like I'm maybe really once dignitized. or twice. Yeah. You've been dignitized before. I have. Yeah. It was the saddest moment of my life. Yeah, I was really like saddest in a weak time. I was weak. Up. I was young. I was like I was young too. I was. I was weak. living at the top of the Hilton like hotel, okay. and we were like making a lot of money. We were. We were and making then, a lot of money, and we. His name was Steve, and his name was Los. <laughs> My her, my best, my, her, my boyfriend and her boyfriend were best friends. And we were like, and all, I was digmatized. We were all trapped out and stuff. We were just like young and hot. And we were living at this hotel. And we were just shopping and like we were digmatized. I think it was more. Than they just really the took dick, us, though. It was just a whole environment. They took us for a horrible. ride. I felt like we just couldn't get off of that shit. But eventually we came to. Or or we were too. Were we were all like pretty were well good. to do. We were, all, we were all pretty well off. Yeah. We were doing yeah, really we were, well. We were we had different money than them because they they did yeah. other stuff, but it was still it was still like the whole thing. Like they we were just all it was younger guys. It was a vibe. We were like going out a lot. We were, we were raving and stuff. Okay. It was pretty yeah. cool. But um, it was fun. It was a good time. It was, it was a good time. I love it. Uh, I think I got a couple more on here. Uh, this is a little different. What do you guys think of follow your passion? Do you agree with that? I agree with that. Yeah. I think that it's always important to follow things that you're passionate about and even create new things that you can be passionate about in the future. For sure. So there's a lot of nice guys out there. How do nice guys be less of a nice guy? And um, just don't be taking no shit. Like don't, don't be taking be no back talk and shit. Like, you like it's nice really important. Yeah, it's hand really down. important for you to like keep your pimp hand strong. And when I say that, I don't take it out of context. Don't smack. Uh, I don't, don't mean like like what pimp stands for. Like put it in my pocket or gorilla pimping or no bitch ass shit. But just like don't take no mean shit. Mean what you say. What like you it's okay. Say. You say no. Mean no. Like it's always important manners first. So like when somebody's out with you, like you deserve respect like anybody else. So it's important to say please and thank you and hold the door. And like, I think that's where nice like guys actually find. You walk the, past the somebody, loop. you bump into them, say excuse me, like hey, excuse me, you know, like did you hear me? Excuse but me. But I think that's where nice guys find the loop when they're being nice, but then they actually like turn on you real fast. Mm -hmm. Like I said no, and then they like boss up. Yeah, and, and like, it's okay to say no. It makes you wild for them because they they have a separate yeah, side. Yeah, like of them. excuse me, like uh, what did you just say? Like you know, like don't let people talk down to you or like tell you what you're gonna do or plan your schedule or anything like that. It's just important to like stay ahead of the game and like run shit, you know what I mean? Like how does a man successfully slide into the DMs? Uh with some slick shit. Sex like I have content. like I have hit somebody up from a DM. I s I mean like you just gotta like slide in slick. You, like you communicate your needs with people. Never be afraid to communicate your needs. The worst thing somebody could say is no. Like, hey, can be I have a be, be observant. Be observant. Be observant because you look stupid when you go through someone's page and you just DM them without knowing anything about them. When people basically tell you who they are through their page. So if you don't do your research before actually going through someone's DM, you're gonna look fucking stupid. Yeah. And then, I heard women hate how are you. That's stupid. Good you? mornings. Fucking hate it. Mornings. Hate, hate it. Yeah. Oh my God! When somebody says good morning to you, you know that it's a How like about a mass some breakfast. Test. Like, hey, can I get you some breakfast? Or like, okay. you know what I mean? Do you need anything? You see that I post anything from work on my page? You'd be like, damn, Wednesdays be dreadful for you. What's up? Let's go get a uh, let's go get a happy hour drink. Let's do this. Then you'd be like, damn, yeah, it was like, you a gotta slide day. in let's go get a drink. Like that makes a lot of sense. You, you know gotta be I mean? you gotta be informative, and you gotta be like. It's about, Observing, yeah. It's, yeah, it's about like doing a re report on somebody. Like, imagine if you were really interested in someone. Are you really interested in someone? Or are you just trying to smash? Like, for real. I can see a smash. I'm gonna know I can see right a smash away. Like, if you, away. yeah, like I'm gonna know right away. However, you come at me, I'm gonna come back at you with the same type of energy. 
Like if you send me a dick pic and shit, I'm gonna send you some. I don't accept dick pics. At you know all. what I mean? Like okay. nothing gross. about that makes me or yeah, it doesn't make disgusting. me rouse. It's just yeah, fucking like, Um Women make rules for the wrong guy, but break rules for the right guy. Absolutely it all, correct. it's all yes, and it's all it. about the energy that they put forward. So if you put me the energy, if you make a lot of rules for me and you try to control me instead of get to know me, or you got a lot of money and you try to throw it in my face or something, it's usually the man with it'll money. It'll make me, go, it'll make me turn up. Like I'll go and fuck another nigga. You know it's, you, it's usually the man with money. They will make you do some things that you know you don't do. Yeah. But because they have money or because they just, they're very, men with money t tend to be confident in asking you to do something you don't normally do. They're yeah. very persuasive. But so they don't want to act funny yeah. about the money. Like how, old, money. how old is too old of a man without money? I mean, without money. without money, you just like you needed to live. So no, I'm I would not say foolish. 25. Uh, yeah. How old they, how, first of all, how old are you guys? I'm 31. Okay. Okay. 25 is you after 25, literally, because men do mature younger and come in slower than women. But at the same time, if you're 25 and older, you need to know exactly what you want to do. You got to grow up sometime. And I'm not you saying you have well to be a millionaire at 25, but you need to be in. A, direction of what you want to do. I mean, they're starting younger and younger. I saw a guy come out of the casino the other day. I was went in there to play some slots. He tried to tell me he was 21. He looked like he was 16. So yeah. how old is too old if he does have money? Uh, no oh, no. There's no age limit. Yeah, there's no age limit. I'm looking for geriatrics. I don't there's give There's no age limit, so he can nope. be 65. 65, 75. Yeah, Nicole, Nicole told us that. I yeah, she so told us that already. Nicole, Nicole told she us She told us that. If he's 90 years old with hey, a good sense of humor, that's right. He grinning in. Then feed him oh, the really? suit. I'll change okay. his diaper, feeding tube, whatever. Um, Doesn't matter. They get better with age, though. So I know. Men do nicer, get better with age. Sweeter. Do you They're guys sweeter. scroll on YouTube and uh, like? Do you guys know who Andrew Tate is by chance? I don't like him. You don't like him? Why don't you like him? Because he's an asshole. Okay. And a lot of the stuff that he talks about is based off his.